It is in Amahoro village, about 20 kilometers from Bujumbura city, where Sam Banana calls his second home. He has proved to be quite resourceful at the Harbor for Life Children's Home that is sponsored by Canadians, a place he never imagined would be his workplace at one point in his life. It just happened to pick his words, and guess what? He has introduced to this community something new. Nipokuja nilijaribu kutembea na mbegu kama za sukuma wiki na spinach. Na nilipofika hapa nimeshangaa kwamba uh, watu hawafahamu. Eh, kama sasa wanafunzi hapa eh tumewafundisha sasa spinach inaliwa vipi na pikwa vipi. He says he found that for Burundians greens not really a common delicacy. Delicacy naweza sema ni ni daga, daga ya yeah, like Tanganyika. Safi sana. Hiyo ni mwenye naye home. Si watu wa mboga sana Haruni ni watu eh. Nyao wanasema wanapenda kitu ya kutoa damu kidogo hivi kama nyama ya mbuzi eh, vitu kama vile. Sam reckons that changing people's habits is not easy. Lakini walipoona kwamba tunabadilisha sehemu na ina, inapendeza wakawa na bidii wakakubali kwamba ni vizuri uh, tuungane wote tuweze kufanya kazi. All this transformation in a short period on this small farm within the gated orphanage, say, not more than two acres in size. Actually, what we have achieved here, uh, it was during the dry season. We've had five, six months of drought, no rains, so, and, and the temperature is so hot. Maji tunatumia hapa ni liter kama elfu mbili hivi. Na una, una, una farm kwa mba mtungi moja ni kama lita ishirini. Kwa hivyo tunaitaji mitungi hamsini kwa siku moja kuweza kuleta kwa uh, kuweka kwenye hii mimea yetu hapa. Wara is a borehole is owned by a neighbor which is one kilometer away from here. And, uh, uh, and uh, we pay per month to get the water. But gardening is not what really brought him here. He was hired initially to help the orphanage produce honey a skill he had developed while in Kenya over the years. Nililipua kufanya kazi yangu ya nyuki. Lakini hii kazi ya nyuki ni mesha fanya, naona kwamba hiko successful. Lakini kiondoka hapa, ni kienda bila kutekeleza gardens, itakuwa hiyo kazi imefail. Kwa hivyo itakuwa inaniumiza sana ni kirudi Kenya, kwa sababu nilifanya nyuki zika kuwa hapa. Alafu zikipate shida ya kutokuwa na mimea ya kuwapatia pollen na nectar e garden ikuwe inapeana chakula ndiyo kwa, kwa, kwa shule chakula kingine kiweze kuuzo lakini muhimu ni sababu ya nyuki for some his achievements are driven by passion kwa kuwa tu niko Burundi nimeshapata tayari contacts nyingi za watu ambao wanataka niwasaidie mambo ya, ya biz na, na, na pia Kenya najua watu wengi sana wanataka niwasaidie kuhusu mambo ya biz kwa hivyo kama ningesema kwamba nafanya kwa sababu ya pesa Labda singe kuwa hapa na labda atunge kutana wa yomze. That's inaniuma hii pandi mbeni dunga. Sam is not just contributing to making the orphanage self-reliant in food, but also imparting skills and the right attitude among the students. Kila kitu walikuwa hapo nyuma wanategemea kwa donations. You may be wondering what exactly is Sam's background. I'm an old boy of French school come singer. I later on went to Mombasa Port Technic where I trained for information technology. He says he has learned beekeeping and gardening by observation and practice, apart from short training opportunities. It's good to day abroad and see the people, see the challenges they're having, and see, get exposure, see the value they have. And when you come back home, you, you will never be the same. The good thing with the Burundi is that uh, they only speak one language, which is Kirundi. And uh, Kirundi has a lot of similarities with the, the most of the Bantu languages in Kenya. Like when they refer to water, they say Amazi, which is the same as the Western people. And when they say Itanda too or Itatu, is the same as the Central uh, Kikuyu people, which means ta a Tatu or three and six, you know. They are in abroad na Icheki sana. Some may be far away, but he is in touch with his family back home. I'm a father, I have a family back home. I think that the Kenyans who are abroad, sometimes they are not able to do the stories of stories. But I am here and I thank you that there is an eco bank here. So, I think that there are services poor, 
za money transfer. Kwa hivyo mimi huaspati shida natumia EcoBank. What some banana story tells us is that books can give you education, but passion can give you a career and not just in your locality but in any corner of the world and he says he's satisfied that he's helped change lives beyond the borders. For Daring Abroad, I'm Alex Chamada in Amahoro village in Burundi.